did you know that you know they're associated with barstool barstool this is one of the greatest business stories of all time dave portnoy he sold right he sold the company got the company back for a dollar has to be one of the greatest what just last week yeah just last week how uh, pin wanted to get out. Pin, <laughs> pin That's realized they Googled. Go ahead and they jump into it. They weren't acquiring as much market share in the gambling space as they had wanted to, so they had to make a pivot. To make a pivot, they wanted to get in bed with ESPN. To get in bed with ESPN, they had to uh, disassociate with Barstool. So when you got to call Barstool up, Barstool's got, you know, whether it's a leverage game or not, it's like, hey, we got to get rid of this. We'll sell it back to you. And it was basically for a non compete and some upside if you were to sell again. But this is what's called the Dave Portman. And then they throw it back. But this is what? what's yeah. great. All the boys, I don't know if Taylor does, but most of the boys on Barstool, including Dave, all have stock. They have equity in Penn Gambling. Oh. So, oh. And, and then Penn's going to go through the roof. Like right now, people are like, oh, it's that Penn's, you know, they're, they're done. Look at the stocks. Yeah, wait till fancy football starts. And everyone has to start betting with Penn. Wow. That stock's going to go through the fucking ESPN roof. ESPN bet, which is you get the, we get the root for it. Correct. You want it to do well. You want like McAfee. You want all of them to get very but involved. The, with the mistake Penn made is... It, and listen, I'm part of that crew too. Where Barstool, some wild boys. What mm -hmm. we do is we're wild boys. Joe Rogan, uh, the whole crew, DeStefano, Tim Dillon, Burt Kreischer, wild boys. When you put us in corporate world, it's going to ruffle some feathers, especially with a lot of regulation. Yeah. yeah so and they're yeah. like, wait, they said what? It's like that's how we built our fan base. Bro. Yeah. Oh, you can't say this. Well, that doesn't work. Dude. Right. So then Penn just miscalculated that a little bit. Right. Now they can go to ESPN with woke Disney and, you know, bat down to Mickey mouse, which is fine. Yeah. And they'll make their money. And that's where all, that's what they should be doing. Yeah. They tried with barstool and God bless them for even trying. Cause most companies are too scared to, Right. So God bless them for but doing it. But like even going back, because obviously hindsight is 2020, it's like, yeah, okay, they look at it now, they didn't get enough market share. But at that time when they acquired Barstool for five hundred million dollars, right? DraftKings, FanDuel, everybody else, the way that they spent their advertising dollars is just licensing and paying talent, individual talent. So like us. Cal yeah, like Callan, we'll give you a hundred million dollar bag. Brandon, we'll give you a hundred million dollar bag. And so you're like licensing deals, whereas Penn had acquired a company, it's like we're going to have Barstool push all of our stuff. We yep. don't have to pay advertising dollars yep. to anybody else. Mm. But now you look back, FanDuel and DraftKings have a much bigger market share than Penn does. So now Penn had to sell it back, and now they're paying a, a $2 billion licensing deal for 10 years with ESPN. Big boy wow. deal. Shout wow. out to wow. Dave, man. Wow. Big boy they get deal. Shareholders are like, hey, we're going to throw this money. A, Let's go somewhere incredible else. app. Such a credible like company, ESPN, and the, I mean, the, yeah. the ESPN but uh, bet now, but yeah. and all that, and it's kind of we were talking about this yesterday, how it's kind of like there's a race going on in the in the gambling world of who's going to be numero uno, and I think FanDuel and DraftKings they they own one and two, and it's like where it's does be tough to be DraftKings, but yeah, we'll yeah. see. I want to say FanDuel might be number one right now. Is FanDuel up there? It seems like they're. It seems like the biggest player in the whole ga sports betting space is like the tech. Well, it I'm a like DraftKings guy, promo code tech. fighter. Okay, <laughs> gambling <laughs> is the true American pastime. I mean, I'm always amazed at how many people gamble.